So to get started, we need to create a new sequence. So I'm going to come over to File, New, Sequence, and hit OK. Now we need to create a new black video. So I'm going to come over to my project panel over here, right click, select new item, black video, hit OK. And I'm going to drag this black video onto my timeline over here. And what this black video is going to do is to give me a black background to work with. Now we need to go over to our type tool over here and type our text. So I'm going to type the word hello. And I'm going to stretch this to the duration of my black video over here. Alright, so let me make this more bold so you can see this. So what I want to do at this point is to adjust the parameters of my text over here. Increase the size. And adjust the parameters so that it's more centered. Next, under our text parameters over here, we are going to move down to appearance and you see this fill over here and stroke, we are going to check stroke and uncheck fill. But before we do that, let's highlight our text over here and check stroke and uncheck fill. Now what this is going to do is that it's going to give us an outline of our text over here. Take note that you need to highlight your text or it's not going to work. And if we want to change the font type, all we need to do is to come over to the text here and select any text that we like and the outline is still going to remain regardless of the fonts that we choose now the next thing that we can do is to apply a ram to this text outline so we'll go over to our effects library over here and we're going to search for the ramp effect next select your ramp and drag it onto your graphics layer over here and under your effects control panel ramp you can set your start color and your end color over here so we can set our start color to be blue and our end color we can leave it to remain as white and also with the ramp shape we can choose linear ramp or a radial ramp we can edit the x and y values of the start and end of the ramp to control the reflections of the blue to white and by adjusting this you can see what we have created so far now i'm going to delete this ramp effect over here select it and clear it from my text so my text has gone back to just white and back in my first control panel over here under my text outline i'm going to change the color of my outline back to blue to do this i'm going to highlight my text once more select the stroke and change it to blue okay highlight my text now i'm going to change the stroke here to blue And as you can see it has turned to blue now i'm going to show you how to add a glistening or a shine animation to your text now i'm going to duplicate this text over here so what i'll do is i'm going to select this and drag it one step higher by holding on to alt and dragging it one step above now i'm going to select the top clip over here and move to my effects control library over here for my top clip i'm going to change the stroke back to white for me to do that remember guys we are going to highlight our text select the stroke and change it back to white so now what we have is we have two texts we have two hello texts the top one is white and the bottom one is blue but you can't see the bottom one because the top one is covering it so i'm going to select my top clip over here and under opacity i'm going to select this squared mask and next thing i'm going to do is to increase the feather So what I'm going to do right now is to move this mask to the, behind the text over here and what I want to create is a scenario whereby this mask is going to come in like this and then we're going to see the white text and the blue text that's going to create a glistening effect. Alright so to create this I'm going to move this to this beginning point over here and at this position I'm going to add a keyframe here. Remember to put your playhead at the beginning of your graphic text then I'm going to move to a position here at this position i'm going to select my mask and move this back to this other portion over here now if we move from the beginning and we hit play we have created this glistening effect thank you and see you guys in my next video tomorrow